hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel so today i have a story time for you guys i'm so excited this story time is so juicy so entertaining so scandalous this story is crazy i don't know if you guys are ready get your popcorn get your snacks get your turn up get your blunts get anything you got to entertain yourself to listen to this story because it is going to be a good one so this story is the time that my homegirl had a one night stand my homegirl that i'm going to be telling the story time about i had known her for years we're cool you know she's lit like she's a she's a cool person you know what i'm saying i'm just not going to say her real name of any of the people in this story because you know i don't want to expose them out there like that but um yeah the tea has to be said you know what i'm saying so basically this happened when i was 16 years old i remember I was in the restroom talking with her on the phone. I'm like, Veronice, girl, we need to turn up. Like, it's the weekend. It was a Saturday. If you know me, my favorite day of the week is Saturday. So I was curling my hair. I was like, I need to look cute. I need to look good because we are going to do something. We're not going to stay home and be bored like always. So we're going to go out. You know what I'm saying? So my homegirl's like, I'm on the way, you know, and I'm like, cool, cool, cool. I'm almost ready. She's like, yeah, I'm on the way, you know, I'm already ready and stuff like that. And I'm like, cool. She gets to my house and I'm like, why is your hair looking like that? But she's like, can you do my hair for me? So I curl her hair and then we decide to walk to the store and get some snacks because it's still early, you know, and like people turn up like in the afternoon and night, you know what I'm saying? So we walk to the store, we get some snacks, we walk back, we're bored. I'll call my best friend at the time. We're going to name her Melanie. So we call Melanie and I'm like, hey, Melanie, what's up? I'm with Veronese. And she's like, oh, shoot, there's a thing say y'all trying to go or what? And I'm like, hell yeah, we're trying to go. We're trying to go see, you know, a dance by Chapa or whatever. We're trying to have fun, you know. We're trying to pull up to the quince. And I've never really been to quinces before. I've only been to like three quinces. So I'm like, oh shoot, I want to go, you know. And she's like, okay, where do you guys want me to pick you guys up? I could pick you guys up with my dad and we can get dropped off at the quince. I've always been super, super duper paranoid about where I live. I don't like letting people know where I live because one day they're your friends and the next day they are not your friends but the reason that Anissa knew where I lived was because she was my friend for a long long time and also because you know we had a really good friendship so she did sleep over sometimes anyways we get picked up at a park by my house we get dropped off by her dad at the king's say he's like bye I'll pick you guys up at this time or something just call me and I was like cool 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 we see that the quince is super dry, it looks whack, it looks boring. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's un velorio or what? Like, what's going on? Where's the turn up? And she's like, girl, like, honestly, I was using it as an excuse. I wanted my dad to see that I was going to be hanging out with you guys. But um, I'm going to have my boyfriend pick me up. And I was like, your boyfriend? She's like, yeah, I've been talking to this guy on Facebook. I'm finally going to meet him. He's my bae. And I'm like, oh, shoot, girl. And then he pulls up in this nice ass car, like super nice, like nice, okay? And we were 16, so you know what I'm saying? He gets out the car and he is an older guy, okay? He is probably in his early, early 20s and we're 16. And my homegirl, Veronese, she's like, oh, hell no, he's old as fuck. And then my homegirl's like, hey, do you guys want to ride to the other quince? Because we were already planning on going to the other quince because this quince was boring. And then my homegirl's like, hell no, I'm not going to get in a car with him. He looks old as fuck. And then my homegirl, Melanie, was like, les quiero presentar a mi novio. Like, I want to introduce you guys to my boyfriend. And like, Berenice just had a nasty attitude. Like, she didn't want to see him. She didn't want nothing to do with him because he was older than us. And I'm like, oh my God, you're being so extra. It's not that hard. And I said, hey. Like, lo salude, you know, I said hi, like, having manners, you know? And they left. So, me and my homegirl, because she was being a brat and didn't want, like, to get a ride with them, which I don't know why, we're just going to get dropped off. It's not like we we're going to be hanging out with him or anything or with her. We're just going to get dropped off. So, we walk, and it was sprinkling, so my hair goes from curly to wavy. I'm like, oh, Lord, this is a hot mess, you know? So after that, we finally, finally, finally make it to the next destination, which was the other quince because, you know, like I said, the other one was trash. Trash. So basically, we're there, and I'm like, hey, like, you know, we have the good-ass vibes, like, trying to have fun. 
my mom was like like holding me she's like girl 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 no like we need to go we need to go i'm like girl we just got here and this one is bumpy like there's hella people here like it looks fun it looks crazy it looks entertaining what you mean we gotta go we just got here we're not even inside yet because there was hella people outside so i was like i could only imagine there's hella people in the inside as well so she was like no no like i just saw my ex and i'm like where 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 like where 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 like where did you just see your ex she's like right there and i'm like where and she was like pointing me towards like who was her ex honestly i was a little bit out of pocket and out of line but you know what like she kept dragging it she's like no we need to go like she had like her vibe just went from here to the ground because she saw him. And she's like, this is my ex, you know, da 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 And I'm like, okay, like, you know what? I'm going to go up to him and talk to him. And I go up to him and I'm like, hey. So, and he's like, hi. And I'm like, so are you my homegirl's ex? And he's like, who's your homegirl? And I'm like, and he's like, no, I don't know her. Literally, like he was acting brand new and I knew that he didn't know her because I see messages between them on her phone So she wasn't lying, but he just wanted to act brand new. He didn't want nothing to do with her He's like next girl bye And i'm like girl, he not worried about you. Why are you worried about him? Like don't pay him no mind Like for real for real, but like honestly, I would have been mad at her if that would have happened to me But you know, like he walked right past her like he did not acknowledge her for nothing so that was strike number two, I guess, because I don't know for her. That was like strike number two. Like sh that shit, that shit killed her night. You know what I'm saying? And like, we just stayed there for a little bit after I ended up seeing this guy that I was cool with. And he's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, hi, blah, blah, blah. You met short in person, whatever. We walk back to my crib, you know, on the way there, there's a store and it's a corner store, you know, so we are there passing by and i see two guys walking out with a ton of turn up mics coronas modelos all of that and i'm like shoo give me one and he's like yeah here shorty and my hunger keeps walking in front of me i'm like girl hold up get one and yeah they're like here and get one and she's like no i don't want nothing like they're ugly i'm like still with your nasty stink attitude like, what's up with you? Why are you being so uptight, so angry, so mad at life for? Oh my God, loosen up, girl. Anyways, we start walking. She's using my phone because she's like, I'm messaging somebody like we could hang out with. And I'm like, cool. So after that, we're walking and then she's like, okay, I have somebody we're going to hang out with. His name is Travis. So I'm like, cool, we're going to hang out with Travis. So then she starts telling me that hanging out with travis isn't gonna be like just hanging out like cruising around it's gonna be like at a house party i'm like i'm not interested i don't trust house parties i never did i never will i'm good so i was like i'm not gonna go are you sure you still want to go and she's like yes i still want to go and i'm like okay i'm gonna be waiting for you i'm not gonna go to sleep so i can open the door for my house and you can come in and fall asleep you know what i'm saying she's like cool 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 so after that we are walking halfway towards the park and we finally see travis pull up he has a really nice car oh my god all the guys in this freaking story have nice cars y'all got your shit together sort of so he pulls up in a nice car and she's about to hop in he's like wait 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 girl no you're not hopping in my car my car's already full and somebody puts all the windows down and there's a girl in the front seat and three in the back and i'm like oh shoot like, you got hella shorties and i noticed some of the girls that he had in the car were girls that got picked up from the freaking ginse that we just left and i'm like shoot you just heading up all the girls trying to take them down north cool by the way down north is where the party's at and i'm like i'm not going i'm not going after that another guy pulls up his car was kind of ghetto but like that's fine you know like he was probably coming up in life he had a ghetto car for now so he pulls up and he puts his window down i'm like oh shoot this is my guy that i had my first kiss with my crush from when i was like 13 i'm like oh shoot you know what i'm saying she hops in right away before even noticing who the guy was i'm like girl like you were like a hot pocket hot and ready like little caesar's pizza slow your roll honey you was all uptight all night but now when you see some cute guys cute because they were all right you want to act all crazy now you want to act all friendly and then i'm like starting to kind of walk away he's like girl why you acting all uptight you know you want to come hop in stop trying to have us beg you 
And I'm like, I don't want you to beg me. I'm not going. I'm literally not going. I'm walking home. And I started walking home. So I get home and I'm just on my phone trying to stay up. But my eyes are going lower and lower and lower. Like I'm falling asleep. I'm getting super, super tired. It's like around maybe 1 in the morning too. And I'm starting to get worried. I'm like, okay, where's she at? I'm messaging her. She's not replying. It's like 2 something in the morning. And I'm like, okay, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So I messaged the guy that she told me she was going to go with, which was Travis, right? So I'm like, Travis, where's she at? I thought she was with you. Like, are you guys still at the party? Like, what time are you going to bring her? He's like, no, I never ended up going to that party down north. I ended up going to this other thing. I never went, so I didn't go with them. She left with the other guy. Remember? Maurice. I'm like, what do you mean? You're the one that hit her up to hang out, and now you're saying that you don't know where she's at. Like, what's going on? He was like, no, I don't know where she's at. You know, she left with my reason, that other car. I'm like, okay, well, you better figure it out because if she doesn't get to my house by the morning, I'm going to call her parents, and I'm going to say that she left with you, and I don't know where she at. And he's like, well, she's not with me. Don't do that. That's fucked up. You know you saw her leave with that other guy, and I'm like, I don't care because... She was supposed to leave with you so if you don't know where your friend at and you don't know where my friend at then you're gonna have to pay the consequences not me because yo me vuelvo las manos así porque i'm not going to jail because i don't know she left with y'all y'all you know what i'm saying after that like he starts panicking and he keeps calling me like he calls me and i'm like hello he's like come on like don't do that don't be like that and i'm like hanging up on him because i'm like he's annoying like i'm not gonna change my mind the second time he's like come on let's go look for her like he was really really scared and i'm like calm down like for real for real he's like let's go look for her i'm like i'm not going where nowhere with you like i esta hora salen los pinches creeps like this is not an hour to be out with you type of dudes and then the third time that he calls me, I'm like, fuck it. You know, I'm actually worried for my friend. So I'm like, let's go look for her. He's like, okay, where you live at? I'm gonna pick you up. I'm like, uh-uh, sir. Like, I don't know what type of dude you is. I don't want you lurking on me, trying to kill me, trying to do something. You're not gonna know where I live. So I'm like, pick me up at the park. So I'm out here wearing a hoodie and going over there to get picked up by this weirdo. So he could help me look for my friend. So first he's like messaging the guy Maurice he's like where's she at like where y'all at like he's actually panicking because I already told him like you're gonna have to respond to her parents and not me sir not me so he's over here trying to figure out a way to like know where they're at somebody tells him that they're at McDonald's we go to McDonald's they're not there we go to this house that it was a house party at they were not there we end up going to Maurice's house and he's like okay go knock and i'm like okay and it was sprinkling y'all so i go and he's like here before you go he gives me a little ass umbrella like what the fuck am i gonna do with this little ass barbie umbrella like why do you got this little ass umbrella in your car like i'm starting to think he was driving his car to begin with anyways i go out with the little umbrella and i'm over here walking up the stairs and i'm like what the fuck am i doing knocking at this maurice's house maybe they're in there doing sexual stuff and i'm over here gonna knock and then the mom is gonna be like oh hell no this little ass girl was not supposed to be here and why is this other little ass girl looking for her and no so i go down the stairs and i'm like hell no you actually know maurice and his mama you've been around here you go knock he's like okay give me the umbrella i'm on his ain't like shit so he goes and i'm like he comes back he's like no i didn't get no response nobody opened i'm like clearly they're not here if his fucking car's not here smart one so then finally maurice answer he like we up the street like literally up the street like from around my house and around his house because that motherfucker maurice lives by my house as well so we pull up and eventually we saw that maurice was there and i'm like oh my god finally me and my best friend can go home and i don't have to deal with these motherfuckers ever again in my life i was wrong because my home girl decided that she, once upon a time she was a hoe like she was ready to be a hoe she was acting all uptight with them other dudes because they were ugly but with these fools she was acting all liberated bro maurice comes out the car and i'm like okay where's my home girl at and mr what did i name this mr travis pulls the window down and he's like hey what's up where's veronice and he's like y'all guess what y'all is not gonna guess what the hell happened that sh was crazy that party was lit and crazy and i'm like 
looking like trying to like hear what's going on but i'm like oh my god why is he so hyped like he got some good tea or something he sound like me when i have some cheese made or something so he starts telling us that when they got to the party him and veronisa were sitting at a couch she borrowed his phone to play music on it which i don't know why if, clearly it's a party they already have music in there they're drunk or something and she was on her messenger he was nice enough to let her borrow the phone so she could get on her messenger, on her Facebook, on anything she wanted. You know what I'm saying? So basically that happened. And then he said, oh my gosh, but she ended up dancing and making out with this one fool. And I was like, oh my God. Like my face was turning red. My face, me caía de vergüenza for her. Like, you know when you get embarrassed, but it's not even your situation, but you're getting embarrassed for somebody else. That was the, that was the type of situation I was in. So then somebody called the cops and we had to dip out like it was a gang fight so she ends up sleeping with this other guy and they were she starts making up with the other guy too and then she leaves with the other guy so i guess she was making out with two guys at the party but she left with the second guy and then this other guy with the white shirt comes up to the car and he's like i told you should have beat that bitch ass you should have beat her ass because he brought her to the party and she's over here hoeing around and then she's like nah fool chill out like she's on she's not my girl i'm not tripping he's like nah fool you brought her to the party she's leaving with some other fool you should have beat her up and i'm like oh my god hell nah bro she over here all with these all these dudes one of them dudes could have really popped her in the mouth for doing all that but at least the guy was cool, you know. Maurice was like, nah, she's not my girl. Like, I don't care. Then he said, but the worst part is that she stole my phone. And then Mr. Travis looks at me like this. Like, slowly turns and looks at me. And I'm like, embarrassed. But I'm also like, okay. Like, whatever. And I was like, oh, shoot. And then Mr. Maurice won't invite Travis to this other after party that there is. And he's like, y'all want you want to come? And then he's like, nah, I'm kind of busy right now. And then this, ooh, he had the nerve to try me like that. He looks out over at me, the Maurice guy, and he's like, Oh yeah, I could tell. Like, no, he about to drive me off home. Like, don't be thinking them dirty thoughts in your mind. Oh. So then I get dropped off home. But before that, he's like, see, your homegirl ended up stealing my homie's phone. And you were all worried about her. She got herself. She good. And I'm like, stop. Like, I was low-key not even that worried about her no more. I was kind of, like, mad. Because I'm like, that's so embarrassing and trifling. So I walk home. I fall asleep. I couldn't help it. I hear a knock on my window at 4 in the morning. I open. It's her. She smells like regret. She smells like regret. Depression. Must alcohol tobacco wheat like girl where you been all this time in a box of like ooh, nasty so like literally she stunk up my whole room in 2.5 seconds and i was like oh but she's telling me like she ended up leaving the party with this really cute guy they had sex for like an hour I was like, ugh, like, girl, don't be telling me all them details. She's like, I didn't even know his name. I'm like, girl, he was acting all uptight in the beginning of the day, but your ass went loose. Like, you let, you went free. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. That was all. I know it was a juicy story, but it had to end. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.